Here we are, Day of the Dragon King. Today I am here with my cat Gibson, who is snoozing. He acts like he's snoozing. We are ready for Chapter 5. The Scholar. It's a book from our country, said Jack. Your books are made of bamboo, but ours are made of paper. Actually, your country invented paper, but later in the future. The man looked confused. Never mind, said Annie. It's for reading. It's for learning about faraway places. The man stared at them. Tears filled his eyes. What's wrong? Annie asked softly. I love reading and learning, he said. So do I, said Jack. The man smiled. You don't understand. I am dressed as a farmer, he said. But in truth, I am a scholar. What's a scholar? said Annie. We are great readers, learners, and writers, he said. We have long been the most honored citizens in China. The scholar's smile faded. But now scholars are in danger, he said, and many of us have gone into hiding. Why, said Jack. The Dragon King is afraid of the power of our books and learning, said the scholar. He wants people to think only what he wants them to think. Any day he may order the burning of the books. <sighs> Annie gasped. Does that mean what I think it means, said Jack? The scholar nodded. All the books in the Imperial Library will be burned, he said. That's rotten, said Annie. Indeed it is, the scholar said quietly. Listen, we have a mission to get a book from that library, said Jack. Who are you, asked the scholar. Show him, said Annie. She reached into her shirt pocket. As Jack reached into his sack, they brought out the secret library cards. The letters shimmered in the sunlight. The scholar's mouth dropped open again. You are master librarians, he said. I have never met one so honored who were so young. He bowed to show his respect. Thank you, said Jack and Annie. They bowed back to him. How can I help you, asked the scholar. We need to go to the Imperial Library and find this book, said Jack. He held out Morgan's bamboo strip to the scholar. We will go to the Imperial Library, said the scholar. As for the story, I know it well. It is a true one, written not long ago. But I warn you, we will be in great danger. We know, said Annie. The scholar smiled. I am happy to be doing something I believe in again, said the scholar. Let us go. They all climbed into the front of the cart. The long line of wall builders was marching in the distance. As the oxen started forward, the scholar turned to Jack and Annie. Where are you from, he asked. Frog Creek, Pennsylvania, said Annie. I have never heard of it, said the scholar. Do they have a library there? Oh, sure, there's a library in every town, said Jack. In fact, there are probably thousands of libraries in our country. And millions of books, said Annie, and no one burns them. Right, said Jack. Everyone gets to go to school to learn to read them. The scholar stared at him and shook his head. It sounds like paradise, he said. Tune in next time.